Good evening. The leadership of a mayor is crucial because it is to the mayor that everyone will look to provide vision, energy, and a sense of confidence and belief in the borough to which they represent. The mayor is a symbol, a public face, and we have been privileged to have, have at our helm Councillor Jill Shepherd and her truly supportive consort, Bill, who have both served this borough faithfully and diligently over this last year, bringing their uniqueness and sense of fun to most proceedings, whilst also at times needing to admonish and raise her voice to errant and wayward councillors and gallery members. So new councillors be warned. It has been my special privilege to walk alongside Jill and Bill over this last year and what a lot they have achieved with some truly wonderful and inspirational and hard-working helpers along the way and magnificent events to attend. I wish you both a well and deserved rest and all the very best for the future, whatever that may be. I also wish the Marilette Councillor Bill Hancock and his wife Sheila Indeed, and their new chaplain, Mark, a truly wonderful and blessed year. And I would like to end with some words of encouragement to you all. What is your purpose for being here? We all have one. What can you contribute for the good of others? For when we seek and find that vision, God opens the path for you to follow. God bless you all. If I can remind everybody, the filming tonight will be the meeting tonight will be filmed for publication on the council's website. All members are reminded that they must turn their microphones on before beginning to speak. The cameras will only point to the member when the microphone is on. Can I also suggest that members fully extend the microphones so that their speeches can be properly recorded and can also, also remember, remind everybody about turning their mobile phones to silent or off, please. A fire drill is not expected, so if the alarm sounds, please evacuate the building quickly and calmly. Please use the stairs and do not use the lifts. Once out of the building, please gather outside the Yorkshire Bank on the opposite side of the road. Please exit by the nearest safe fire exit, which are clearly indicated by the standard green light fire exit signs. And if you need any assistance in evacuating the building, please make yourself known to a member of staff. I move on to item two, election of the mayor. And nominations from any member. Councillor Copland. Madam Mayor, councillors, officers of the council, ladies and gentlemen, it gives me immense pleasure to propose Councillor Bill Hancocks to be the Mayor of our great borough. Friday, July the 15th, 1988, was a big day in my life because I was going to meet somebody who I had admired for a long while. No, it wasn't Bill at that point. It was a gentleman, and the older people in the room may remember him, Lord Soper. Lord Soper was coming to preach in Bedworth at the old church there. And it was a fantastic evening. I had met Lord Soper. But, this is the good bit as well, I met Bill Hancocks that evening for the very first time. Bill has been a friend to me and my family since that day. Bill was born in Tile Hill, so he's one of these people that have come from out the borough, like myself and like others, that some people at the moment, maybe a bit controversial here, oh, oh we don't want people from outside. Well, Bill's from outside, and God bless him, because he's a good one. 
Bill went to Woodlands School. He then, after that, served an apprenticeship as a glazier at a Coventry company. I think there was issues to do with maybe finance and the wages there then, and he got himself a job at Massey Ferguson. So all over the world there'll be tractors somewhere that Bill's had something to do with. He moved on again and worked for Coventry Council. Again, back on the glass, as Bill called it. He then finished his working life at the probation service as a probation officer, looking after offenders. And Bob, uh, Bill certainly has the character to deal with people that, well, have a bit of a mind of their own, shall we say. Bill met... Sheila, his good lady, his wife, in 1972. They married in 1977. Mathematicians amongst us, 40 years this year. Sheila is a Bedworth lass. So, although they lived in Coventry initially, they moved to Bedworth in 1984. And they have two <coughs> lovely girls and five grandchildren. Please tell me I've not missed anybody out. What is Bill like? Well, the way I would describe Bill is what you see is what you get. And I mean it in the best possible way. Bill doesn't mess around. He's to the point. And I know that from that first, well, not, maybe not the first meeting, but soon after when we had a bit of a difference of opinion on things. You know where Bill stands, but you have the argument it's done, dusted, you have a pint with Bill afterwards. Bill's passionate, hard-working, generous, reliable, and many other words that I could use. Bill, is a, as I said, is a friend of our family. Sadly, over the last few years, we've had tragedies in our family. We've lost members of the family. And you know who were the first people at our door? It was Bill and Sheila. You cannot say any more than that. They would do anything for you in times of need. For his sins, the two football teams he follows are Coventry City and Sunderland. Now, people that know anything about football, they know where they are going. Down. But Bill's not going down, he's going up. Another hobby that Bill has is he's a crown green bowler. And a blooming good one as well. Only he did spoil my, little, my speech tonight because this season he had won his first nine games. And what does he do on Sunday? Maybe it was because I was marking his card. He gets beat. But Bill is a top bowler and never is beat right to the end. He has one other little thing that he loves. Bingo. Now, one of his colleagues that he goes to bingo is sitting in the well tonight. People all have heard of the likely lads. Well, when these two, I see them sometimes going to the bingo, they're the unlikely lads. <laughs> Council meetings, because they do bingo on a Sunday and a Wednesday evening. So maybe with a bit of luck, council meetings will be a bit short. That will be, could be good. To be, speak about Bill's time on the council, he come on the council in 1990. He's been chair of the planning applications committee. Most of the years he's been on the council, I think. Everybody just thinks of Bill as the chair. And Bill was instrumental in introducing public participation at planning. He went to various other councils that were trying it out to see how it happened, and he brought it here, and it works excellently. Bill is a firm but fair chair. He also has interests in the environment and in health. And for, many year, well, for a few years, many years ago, he was chair of the West Midlands National Society for Clean Air and Environmental Protection. 
I think that's sort of disbanded much to Bill's... Well, He's also done great work on scrutiny panels to do with meningitis. We had an outbreak in Bedworth quite a few years ago. Bill was right in amongst that, helping families when they really needed assistance. Flooding, which happened in his ward, and alcohol-free zones. Post office closures. He's dealt with that, and there's a post office in his area that is open today because of Bill. He actually dragged me down to Parliament. He was lobbying down there about this post office and others, and I ended up down in Parliament with Bill, just running behind him whatever he was going to see and whatever. He's non-stop when he's got something that he wants to happen. Madam Mayor, for all these reasons, and I'm sure there's many more that I could have thought of, I would like to propose... William John Hancocks, to give him his full title, to be elected chairman of the Borough Council of Nuneaton and Bedworth, to be styled mayor for the ensuing, ensuing municipal year. And I move that. Thank you. Just a second, uh, Councillor Haynes. I've known Bill since he married my best mate's daughter. My best mate at that time, and has been for a lifetime, till he passed away, was Albert Walker. He was an ideal councillor. If you wanted anything done, you went to see Albert Walker. Bill has followed in Albert's footsteps. I joined Bill as a councillor in Bede Ward in 2010. And Bill showed me things, although I'd been a councillor for many years, <coughs> that I weren't doing right. And I have no hesitation whatsoever. If anybody wants to know how to be a good councillor and serve your residents loyally, have a word with Bill. So I have no hesitation whatsoever in recommending Bill as the mayor of the borough. I'll second it. Is there any other? So it's a straight vote. So all those in favour of Councillor Hancock's, please show. Against. Abstentions. That's carried. And that the council Bill Hancocks be elected chairman of the Borough Council of Nuneaton and Bedworth to be styled mayor for the ensuing year. And if his nominator and seconder can join me, we'll go and fetch him. All right, please. I can ask you all to be seated until the new mayor returns. Thank you.
Okay. I, Bill Hancocks, having been elected to the office of Mayor of the Nuneaton and Bedworth Borough Council, declare that I take that office upon myself and will duly and faithfully fulfil the duties of it according to the best of my judgment and ability. stage you want to ask everybody to sit yeah. down and then you do a speech yeah please if everybody would like to take a seat if we might be here for a while <laughs> Right, good evening everybody, thanks for coming along. I'll try not to be too long because it is warm in here and with this dress on it's even warmer <laughs> on this bit. So ladies and gentlemen, members of the council, officers of the council, honoured guests, family and friends. Um, thank you for joining me to share what I know will be a fantastic year for Sheila and myself. A year that has already been made special by us celebrating our Ruby wedding anniversary. To become Mayor and Mayoress of Nuneen and Bedworth is a great honour and we will endeavour to represent the communities of Nuneen and Bedworth to the best of our abilities. We would not be in this position now except for the residents of this borough. Indeed, it is those people that make Nuneen and Bedworth the great place that it is. During the year, we will, of course, be raising money for our charity appeal and we know as always, that local people will support the appeal in the generous manner that they have always done so. However, Sheila and I want to be fully involved in all aspects of community life, as well as supporting our local businesses, schools, etc. To my councillor colleagues, thank you for electing me into this position. There's sometimes a perception of councillors being in it for themselves but I can honestly say that I've never known that to be the case. And I certainly recognise the commitment that you all put into your local communities, as well as the time spent on council business, when perhaps you should be with your families. I'm not one for advice, but I will say, carry on the great work that you do, but always leave time for your families and friends. For the last 12 months, Sheila and I have had the pleasure of being deputies to Jill and Bill and I would like to take this opportunity to thank them for their efforts in what I am certain was a successful year. Going back a while, some may recall an old catchphrase of mine, I don't do speeches, something I intend to continue, except for tonight, as I have many to thank for helping me in my work as a councillor <coughs> and also for their continued help over the next 12 months. A special thank you goes to councillors Bob Copeland and John Haynes for proposing and seconding me. They probably thought that being outside the room I couldn't hear them. Well, I made sure that I could and I'll be having words with them later. Seriously, thank you for your kind words. It means a lot to me to have you both as friends as well as colleagues. John will, of course, have some extra work this year whilst I carry out my civic duties. So once again, thank you to Bob and John and also all of my friends and colleagues in Bede Ward. For Chris, Councillor Watkins, I'm certain that you'll be confirmed tonight as Deputy Mayor and I know that you will support us during the year. As a diligent and hard-working councillor, your nomination and appointment will be well-deserved. To Reverend Mark Turner of Bedworth Baptist Church, who has kindly accepted our invitation to be my chaplain, thank you for taking me under your wing. I know that you'll find the full council meetings interesting. The lead into the mayoralty can be a bit daunting, so I'd also like to thank Lindsay, Jonathan, Shirley, Dave, Tim, and all of the team for their help and guidance, and we look forward to working closely with them. With us tonight are our family, 
albeit slightly different to 2001. With us are the Pollocks. Yes, I did say Pollocks. Daughter Jane, husband Paul, grandsons Lacken and Dynamo Dawson. <laughs> then we come to the Burgess Hancocks family. Daughter Joy, partner for now, David. <laughs> for now, he's saving for the dowry. Granddaughter Samosa. Did you bring your camera, Samosa? Yeah, so she may be wandering around taking photos tonight. She's just got into her photography. Uh, Monica. Hello, Mon. And last... And last but not least, Rascally Regan. <laughs> We'll try this one. Uh, Sheila and I may be biased, but we know we have the best families ever, and they're especially proud of all of them. This is a bad bit. Although no longer with us, I know my mum and dad would have been proud of me achieving the office of mayor. Thank you. Without the support of Sheila... Oh, there's a bit missing up there. That was me, I altered it. Without the support of <laughs> Sheila... <laughs> Jane and Joy, <laughs> with their secretarial and other duties, I could not have carried out my councillor role and arrive at this position tonight. It has been a team effort, and talking about teams, I can't help but be reminded that here in 2017, it's 30 years since the Sky Blues won the FA Cup. <laughs> we'll be back. Jim, perhaps we can recreate that great game between the two teams that you played for. Coventry and Spurs. To my wife, Sheila, thank you for 40 years of married life and all your support. I know that together we will have a wonderful year as mayor and mayoress. Shortly, I'll get to announce my charity appeal for the year. But I do want to say at this stage that it will also be our aim this year to promote the borough, its businesses and industry. Industry and businesses are an essential part of our community and deserve our support. So, on to the most important part of the evening, my charity appeal for the year. To the members of the charity appeal, charity appeal committee, sorry for making you wait so long, but it's worth waiting for. Our appeal this year will be, <coughs> excuse me, will be for the locally based lymphedema clinic based at the Mary Ann Evans Hospice. In considering many requests for help, Sheila and I were taken in by the determination of staff and users to help those affected by this lifelong condition for which there is no cure. We have seen at first hand the effects that lymphedema can have. We are absolutely determined that over the next 12 months to provide equipment to improve patients' treatment and quality of life and to produce educational materials to ensure as many people as possible are aware of this hidden condition. Getting the message across is vitally important, and to this end, we invite you all to the official launch of the Mayor's Appeal, which will be held tomorrow morning at 11 o'clock in this Council Chamber in the Town Hall. Please come along to learn more about lymphedema from a member of the lymphedema staff patients and supporters and we will make sure some tea, coffee and biscuits will be provided. Tomorrow's official launch of my appeal will be the first step towards reaching our goal of buying the essential equipment needed and we look forward to the next 12 months working alongside many dedicated people. Nearly there. Thank you for being patient and listening to me and I hope that you will enjoy the rest of the meeting and afterwards, the hospitality of the council on this special occasion. Thank you.
to thank them firstly, can I congratulate you, obviously, um, for your elevation to mayor for the first forthcoming year. And I hope you and Sheila will have, and I'm sure you will, a really great year. Mr Mayor, I'd like to propose the vote of thanks to the outgoing Mayor, Councillor Jill Shepherd. Although I know she enjoyed her year, and I do believe Jill was actually warming to sitting in that chair, especially at full council meetings, I think there was a blossoming there that she was beginning to enjoy it a lot. It would be good to have her back in Abbey Ward full time to keep me in check or vice versa. Mr Mayor, Councillor Shepherd has fulfilled over 350 engagements throughout the year. She has supported and been supported by her chosen charities, the Veterans Centre based at Bentley Road and the Mental Health Drop-In Centre based at Newtown Road. I know that they've formed a really good friendship. As you probably know or will find out, civic duties, Mr Mayor, can be very tiring but also very rewarding. And I know Councillor Shepherd and her consort Bill have represented not only her charities but this council with the dignity that befits the role of the Mayor of this borough. And with that, Mr Mayor, formally, the voter thanks that the best thanks to this council be tendered to Councillor Jill Shepherd and Bill Shepherd for the able and courteous manner in which they have fulfilled the duties of mayor and consort during the past municipal year. Thank you, Mr Mayor. And I'd also like to add my own additional thanks to Jill, whose um, quietly spoken voice has sometimes led to cries from the back that I can't hear you, which leads me on to adding my own personal thanks to Jill and her um, ever-present and charming consort, Bill, for accepting an invitation last Christmas to attend the first ever autism-friendly pantomime in the borough, a spectacular but relaxed performance of Cinderella, absolutely ideal for those with a family member with autism or an elderly relative with dementia. I was so touched and grateful for Jill's support in that venture and I'm sure that the presence of the Mayor of Nuneaton and Bedworth went some way to persuading the Civic Hall to repeat that performance this Christmas um, with a relaxed performance of Mother Goose on Sunday the 3rd of December. So on, for that alone, for all the other things that Jill has um, achieved this year, I'm delighted to second the vote of thanks and honoured. Thank you, Jill. Thank you, Mr Mayor, and congratulations. And I hope yourself and your Mayor, S. Sheila, have a wonderful year and it is everything that you hope it's going to be. And I do promise not to speak for very long this evening. This is your evening. Can I thank my nomination and seconder for their kind words? And how quickly a mayoral year goes by. I've met many organisations, individuals and volunteers who all have the same purpose to support the residents of the borough. They do it extremely well. The number of volunteers we have in our borough helping the many organisations is truly awe-inspiring and our borough would be a poorer without them. From Rotary and the Lions and Founders Day, we have never seen so many buns. To the Forget Me Not Club who have been working in this borough for over 30 years and raising funds for others. 
the youth parliament and the school councillors who give their time freely to support others. I have met, met so many well-mannered and talented young people in sport, art and crafts, public speaking, dancing and performing arts. Theo and Joshua, who run a car cleaning business in their spare time, who made an excellent job of cleaning the mural car. And Joshua also took the lead in Robin and the Sherwood hoodies. I was delighted to be invited by the Mayor of Rowan to visit for the 60 years of twinning. It was wonderful to visit our twin town and we have reaffirmed the twinning vows. It was my first ever flight going to Rowan, the second coming back and I don't think I'll be trying it again. Although Bill is working on it, I believe. I was honoured to attend the remembrance services in the borough and thank the standard bearers, parade marshals and the poppy sellers and the committee for their continued support of others. And it is wonderful to see so many young people attending remembrance and I'm sure it is safe in the hands for the future generations to come. I have attended many multicultural events and have been invited to the Temple in Marlborough Road to many Nepalese celebration days and had the honour of placing a wreath at the Gurkha Memorial in the presence of the Nepal Ambassador and the Brigade of Band of Gurkhas did me the honour of performing at my civic concert. I've had many important visitors to the parlour from many different countries, India, Kuwait and Nepal to name just a few. And every visiting dignitary from other authorities have said without exception how lovely our borough is and how friendly the residents are. I've visited the Rainbow Sunshine Company, a group of residents of all ages who have some learning difficulties. Bill has learned to Morris dance and both Bill and Jim are very good at the scarf dance at least a nine out of ten. The company visited the parlour last week, 34 in total, and they welcomed each other to the chamber with a high wave, something that might, Mr Mayor, prove useful in this chamber in the coming months, as by doing the wave, they were well-mannered and polite. I've broken ground at a new care home in Bedworth, officially opened the Reg Bull and Arcelier Railway exhibitions, celebrated the 10th birthday of the Chess Centre, <coughs> which is going from strength to strength in the heart of Camp Hill community. And who knew that the leader of this council can hula hoop? And very well he does. My charities have worked tirelessly all year. I cannot tell you the final figure as the Treasurer is still adding up. My aim was to make the profile of the mental health drop-in and the veterans contact point, and I hope I have achieved that. And my thanks to the Appeal Committee with special thanks to Vinod and Pat and my sincere thanks to the fantastic and generous residents of the borough. The Reverend Helga Cornell has kindly guided me through my year, leading his council chamber in prayers, her entertaining readings, and I particularly enjoyed the flea reading. Helga has been a chaplain for four males, Neil, Brian, Barry and myself, and I thank her from all of us for her wise word, her kindness and support that Helga has given to this council and the residents of the borough. I have to say, Helga goes out of her way to raise a smile, as she did as the Archangel Gabriel with a slipped halo walking through the market. And I wish her happy retirement. My thanks go to Lindsay Millington, who has always kept me on track, filled my diary with the many engagements, and always ensured I had the correct information and has supported me throughout, allowing me to have a good year. Dave Leach has passed on his extensive knowledge of the silver, and I apologise if I got a piece wrong now and again. The chamber talk, which is fascinating, I have learned the plaques and that Sir Marmaduke Constable died after a frog got stuck in his throat. And the others being the New Digger family, the Tompkinsons and the Dugdales, and I thank you, Dave, for that. Mr Jim Holmes, it's nice to be driven round by a person so famous, from his footballing days to his police career and now an author. Jim has looked after us really well. We've got on very well with Jim, who's well-mannered and a good scarf dancer. He has a wonderful sense of humour and I believe he's an excellent golfer. And I'm sure some of the council in the chambers are aware of that. Mm. We've always arrived on time. We've never broken any speed limits. And we know the chains in ourselves are always in safe hands. And finally, Mr Mayor, you were glad to hear. I could not have done the job of Mayor without the support of my husband and consort Bill. And thank Tracy and Bill Jr. Without their support and guidance and the care, I could not have done the wrong. My thanks to the member of this council for allowing me the privilege to be mayor 
and the first citizens of the borough. And Mr Mayor, I hope you enjoy your year and hope it is as good as the one I've just undertaken. Thank you. Can we move on to item number four, the appointment of Deputy Mayor? Um, at this stage, it's for the Council to avoid, appoint the Vice Chairman of the Council to be styled Deputy Mayor for the ensuing municipal year. Do we have any nominations? Councillor Longdon. Thank you, Mr Mayor. And congratulations on your appointment. I won't say that I'm jealous, but I am. Uh, but uh, I was as uh, Vice Chairman, Deputy Mayor. Chris is a hard-working uh, ward member. I have to say that because he does the jobs for me as well. Uh, and he's been very supportive over the years. You stole my bit of thunder yourself when you uh, gave him the accolade, so thank you for that. The Police and Crime Commissioner um, also stole my thunder because Chris was the Police and Crime Commissioner's ambassador until uh, the, the new one, uh, Mr Philip Seckham, uh, sacked them all. Uh, I think somebody should have gone to a tribunal, but uh, he, he gave them all the sack. And of course he's been a heart champion for, for the borough. So I, don't, I think Chris is very worthy and he will do a great job and he, he will be of uh, value to you in supporting you throughout the municipal year. So I nominate Councillor Chris Watkins. I, I second that. But there's, there's always next year, Chris. Thank you, Mr Mayor, and congratulations on your election. I would like to uh, formally propose Councillor Wilson. Eyes down. I second Chris Wilson. He's a very hard-working councillor. Thank you. Council, we, there will be a vote on that. Uh, we'll take the last one first. Or the sure. uh, okay. In that case, can I can I ask the? Uh, it's been proposed and seconded that Councillor Wilson be uh, appointed as deputy mayor. All those in favour of that? Thank you. And it's been proposed and seconded for Councillor Chris Watkins to be appointed as Deputy Mayor. Uh, all those in favour of that one? OK, that's clearly carried. Councillor Watkins... <coughs> <coughs> I'm sorry. Yeah. Yeah. Councillor uh, Chris Watkins be... Appointed Vice Chairman of the Borough Council of Nuneaton and Bedworth to be styled Deputy Mayor for the ensuing municipal year. If you'd like to come down, Councillor Watkins. Oh, started already, are we? <laughs> Um, I, Chris Mark Watkins, having been elected to the office as Deputy Mayor of the Nuneaton and Bedworth Borough Council, declare that I take this office upon myself and will duly and faithfully fulfil the duties in it of accordance to the best of my judgment and ability. <coughs> Um, ladies and gentlemen, councillors, thank you for the uh, for uh, electing me to be 
Deputy Mayor, to the Nuneaton Bedworth Borough. I won't be making long speeches tonight. Um, just, I'd like to thank Barry for proposing me and Trish for seconding me. I will take this role very seriously and um, represent the borough as best as I can. And I will be supporting Bill on every occasion that um, you, need, uh, you need me to. So, Bill, it's your night. Over to you. Okay, we kind of get on to the formal part of the agenda now. Item number five uh, is to receive apologies. Have we had any apologies for absence for tonight's meeting? Uh, Mr Mayor, I've received apologies from absence from uh, Councillor Tony Lloyd. Any other? No? Okay, thank you. Item number six, uh, to... Approve the minutes of the minutes of the ordinary meeting of the council held on the 26th of April 2017. Are you happy that I sign those as a true and accurate record of the proceedings? Okay, we all agreed. Thank you. This is nearly as long as Jim's book. Just when you think you're there, there's another one. Okay, then on to item number seven. Uh, Managing Director, are there any declarations of personal prejudicial interests in matters under consideration this evening? I've not received uh, any additional ones unless any member wishes to declare anything. Yes, to Councillor. Yeah. And Council. And congratulations. Um, I'd like to also declare my election to Warwickshire County Council. Thank you, Ms. I'd like to uh, declare my recent election to Warwickshire County Council. Have I missed anybody? No? In that case, we'll move on to item number eight, which uh, to receive announcements from the Mayor or the Managing Director. Want me to go first? Or you know? Okay. A um, couple of mine are just repeating something from earlier, really, but I do want to extend... Uh, a warm welcome to our new councillor, Councillor Richard Smith, uh, who's just taken the seat in, in Borkington. Hope you enjoy your time on the council. I'm sure you'll make a positive contribution. Thank you. Um, and and just, to, just as a reminder, please, I just want to uh, say a thank you again to Mark Turner from Bedworth Baptist Church, who will be my chaplain for the year. And also, just a reminder of the launch of the charity appeal tomorrow at 11 o'clock in the chamber. It is really important because it's one of those things that a lot of people aren't aware of uh, lymphedema. And so you'll hear first and uh, in the morning from, from uh, pe people directly involved in that and why we need to raise the money for the equipment and educational materials that we do. Okay, thank you. Alan, thanks. Um, thank you, Mayor. Just to formally declare at this uh, council meeting that Councillor Richard Smith, as you, as you just heard, um, was returned as councillor at the recent by-election at the Borkington Ward.
takes us on to item 9 to receive the report of the order and standards committee terms of, of res reference. Councillor Harvey, you're moving the recommendation. I move the recommendation. To speak on this. Councillor Condacor. Thank you very much, Mr Mayor. Congratulations on your new role. Committees are really, really important to this council. And I think it's important that they are robust and they actually um, aren't just a signing off thing. Far too often we've had very poor attendance, particularly at the audit committee. Well, I think the last audit committee only had three members at it. Uh, the combined committee will be 15 members, four independent members and 11 councillors. But none of those councillors or none of those independent members are from the Green Party or any other minor party. And I do think there is a problem with standards and audit if they're not actually robust and challenging and if members of all parties haven't got the opportunity to take part. Therefore, I would propose, and I'm actually proposing this as an amendment, that actually one or more of the independent members is actually assigned a, a co-opted member of the minor parties. So, I mean, in future we may have more parties with councillors. But it's really important that every party can take part in audit and standards. Thank you. Councillor Haynes. That there are two completely independent members on the audit committee. And we can't, uh, it's up to the councillors to sort themselves out. But there are two who are completely independent of any political party. Thank you, Mr Mayor. 10, we're actually dealing with item 9 at the moment, which is the terms of reference of the newly constituted Audit and Standards Committee. I think uh, an elected member may have got confused about the next item. Councillor Harvey. Uh, thank you. It's about the terms of reference. We have amalgamated the two committees, and in fact, uh, the, this is why they circulated in, in terms of the, uh, the detail of these terms of reference. And membership is actually dealt with on item 10. In that case, can I ask all those in favour of the recommendation, please show. That's carried. It takes us on to item number 10, which is the composition and membership of committees and scrutiny panels and appointments to outside bodies for... Oh, this is not right. Uh, I think, unless I've been given the old one, <laughs> uh, it should be for 2017 and 18, not 15, 16. Because they are printed now, aren't yes. They, they are as printed on your agenda. Right, OK, then, from, from the chair, can I move that the appointments and allocations of responsibility be noted? Is that seconded? Yeah, I don't think everybody's got that. Can I just read out, Chair? Um, First of all, in terms of the Cabinet, I've made the, the appointments and allocations of responsibility as follows. Finance and Civic Affairs, myself as leader. Housing Councillor Jackson, also to be Deputy Leader. Central Services Councillor Gwyn Pomfret. Arts and Leisure Councillor Ian Lloyd. Health and Environment Councillor Barry Longdon. And Planning and Development Councillor Aldington. Thank you. Yeah, you've put the, the names in, but... It's still this, isn't it? Yes, it is. It's the same thing. Yeah, it's the same thing. So, no, thank you, Councillor Harvey. Can I, this time, move from the chair that the appointments and allocations of responsibility be noted? Sorry, I should have let you do that. Shouldn't I? Um, is there a seconder? All those in favour? And against? And abstentions. 
Okay, I declare then that those councillors, as announced by Councillor Harvey, be noted. Which takes us on to composition of committees and scrutiny panels to receive recommendations regarding the number of members on each committee. Councillor Harvey, as Leader of the Council, do you wish to move the recommendations at Agenda Item 10B of the Addendum? Recommendation on Item 10B, Mr Mayor. I will, in fact, move a slight alteration to names on 10C in a moment because of, because of passing 9, uh, Item 9. But on 10B, can I just say that, uh, that uh, composition of committees and scrutiny panels is all worked out on a very fair basis in terms of the political proportions of the council and that uh, no one person or two people can actually sit on everything uh, but we do allow people to speak at these different meetings but in fact the opposition are clearly on the audit and standards committee that's very clear it's just that not everybody on the opposition is and uh, in fact, we're, we're opposing parties are, but it is worked out, not by me, it is worked out by the, uh, our legal director and uh, accepted certainly by the main opposition and ourselves as the, the legal way that seats are allocated. Thank you. In that case, uh, I'll move straight to the vote. All those in favour of that please show and against thank you I think that's everybody but any abstentions no. that being carried can we move on to item yeah see membership of committee scrutiny panels to receive recommendations on the membership of committees and the appointment of chairs Councillor Harvey, as leader, do you wish to move the recommendation at agenda item 10C? Uh, nine, which has changed the way that standards is made up. No member of the Cabinet or uh, chair of an OSC can be on standards, and therefore the names of, that have been submitted need to be slightly altered. Uh, <clears throat> so can I move that Councillors Glass and Shepherd's names be taken off the standards and audit, and that this... <coughs> These be replaced by councillors Copland and Margaret Pomfret. The political uh, balance is, is maintained by that. Is that seconded? In that case, again, I'll move to the. It says here I'll move straight to the vote, but we've got somebody who wants to speak, yeah? Oh, okay, I'm being informed that it. Okay, in that case, right. We've made our minds up now. Councillor Condacor. The I made on item nine was very much about the independent members and the makeup of this Audit and Standards Committee. I keep coming back to the point that Audit and Standards is really important, and I hope actually that actually the independent members can be looked at, or the constitution of the Audit and Standards Committee, so that we can actually make an input into Audit and Standards. It is a really important part of the Council. The Council has a large number of large financial projects that go wrong from time to time, and there are various issues. I won't list them now, because obviously it's your day of mayor-making. But I do think we have a serious problem. We're only 15 members of the Audit Committee, and none of them being from the Green Party. Wilson. What we are straying into is a political realm instead of a ceremonial realm tonight. The at the end of the day, we live in a democracy that involves elections, that involves us all putting people up for election. We've seen the composition change tonight with the election of Councillor Smith. If Councillor Condacore is really aggrieved about the makeup of the committees, the answer is to win more seats at elections, not to spoil your night, Mr Mayor. At the end of the day, we're complying with the law. Let's get the job done and vote for it. Um, in that case, it's been moved and seconded. Can I ask all those in favour of the motion? Thank you. And against? And abstentions? Thank you. That being carried, can we move on to item number, item D, representatives on outside bodies? 
Councillor Harvey again, you're busy tonight, aren't you? As leader of the council, do you wish to move the recommendation in connection with representatives on outside bodies? Uh, um, can I just say that, again, due to various other decisions that have been taken, uh, the, the list that was previously circulated, uh, could I move a minor amendment that Councillor Shepherd now be nominated to the Neaton Neighbourhood Watch Committee, instead of Councillor Tandy, and also to Warwickshire Joint Overview and Scrutiny Committee, instead of Councillor Phillips, and that Councillor Tandy be appointed to the West Midlands uh, CA Audit Group as from June, because Councillor Haynes's term of office there actually runs until June. Uh, and it's been missed off the agenda, but I believe Councillor Copland is the substitute member on that, or they might never have had to go, because Councillor Haynes went every time, I think. Uh, so, but he is actually the substitute member. Could I just also point out, Mr Mayor, that when we talk about independent members, we're not talking about councillors, we're talking about members of the public who are actually here tonight, I believe, that have been invited. That's Mrs Bacon, Mrs Nelson, Miss Evans and Mrs Palmer, who are in fact uh, independent members of the Audit and Standards Committee. The members of the public who applied to be independent members and um, they are not councillors, so uh, just to make it clear, we have no councillors who are independent councillors. Second, Ed. <laughs> okay, thank you. In that case, I move on to the vote. All those in favour of the proposal that's been moved? Okay, thank you. And against? And abstentions? It's clearly carried. Item number 11, 11A is this, well it's a scheme of delegation A. Again would the leader of the council move the approval to the scheme of delegation for the council function set out in item 11 of the agenda. This is similar to members but just to say that although the cabinet has been reappointed to the previous portfolios. There will be some minor amendments about responsibilities and I will circulate a list to all uh, members of the council so that everybody is aware of which minor amendments are made in those lists. Thank you. Yes. Yes, it is. Yes. Yes. Yes, it is, because that's about... Yes. Yes, it is because that's a. Yes. It yes, it is because that's about the cabinet. Yes, it is. Yes. It yes, it is because that's about the cabinet. I'll second that, Mr. Yeah. Okay. I'll just I'll just do it formally. It was one that was covered earlier on. But all those in favour of that motion. Okay, uh, I think that was unanimous. Well done. Well, better check. Any against? And abstentions? No, unanimous. <coughs> well, folks, you'll be pleased to know that concludes the formal business of the annual council, and I now close the meeting. In, I don't know what the weather's doing, but in doing so, could I ask all invited guests, officers, and the public to remain in the chamber? whilst I and the other councillors assemble at the front of the town hall, or if it's raining, we'll be on the stairs or somewhere, for the official, official photo call. Thank you very much for your attendance, and I hope that you'll enjoy the rest of the evening. Thank you. All rise, please.